All right, guys, let's get warmed up. Thanks for joining us. Just giving everyone a chance to log in. We're gonna do a quick warm up just to get everybody started. All right, so real fast guys, just to warm up, loosen up the body. Let's take a, a seat on the mat. I'm just gonna grab onto the shins, walk on your, your back just to warm up. And from here, knees are going to push up and you're going to extend out wide. Up, push out wide, warming up, nice and easy. Good. And from here, arms out wide, bring your leg up, twist, let it fall. Bring your leg up, twist your body, and let it fall. Keep going, guys, from left side to right side. Bring the knee up, twist. Keep going. Knee up, bring it across. Now, bring your foot up, twist, let your leg fall. Leg up, twist, let it fall. From left to right, leg up. Cross, ball. Good, let's do our back rolls and front rolls. So just roll it across the room. Back rolls first. One more time on the back rolls. Good. Front rolls across the room. Good, and now shrimping. Shrimping across the floor. Slide your hips. Last time, guys, here shrimping across the room. Good. Next exercise, you're gonna lay flat on your chest, arms out wide, twist from left to right. Bring your foot, hold your hand, twist your body. Try to keep your shoulders towards the ground as you twist. Good, now stack your legs, bring the bottom one forward, and stretch it out, back, switch, other leg forward. The leg that's in front of you, line up with your shoulders, and then just have your leg that's behind you bent. It doesn't have to be straight. You're just gonna lean forward. So kick back, other leg up, stretch, kick back, other leg up, stretch. Good guys. One last time, legs up front, switch from left to right. Sit through. Last time. 
Good. Now let's do our bridges flat on the ground with our, our shoulders, our hips, our feet pressing just straight up in the air. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now lift one foot in the air. Your other foot, uh, you're just on your toes. Put your toes on the ground. Just lift your hips up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Switch. Toes on the ground. Other foot up, press to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now from left to right, bridging. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add in shrimping. Bridge to your shoulder, shrimp to your side. Roll over, bridge, shrimp, bridge, shrimp. Keep it up, a little faster, big bridge, big shrimp, big bridge, big shrimp. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Good, back and forth, back and forth. Excellent, guys. Now we're going to add in the technical get up. So after you bridge up over your shoulder, notice the hips stay high. Hold your hips up. Nice strong frame. I shrimp. Now bring your elbow back, hip back, and there you are. You're ready to do our technical get up. Pull your legs straight back up to your feet to the other side. So, bridge, shrimp. Now you can switch your legs from here. Notice I bring my foot in front of my knee. Bottom arm is gonna go back as my hand stays up in front. And I'm in the sitting up position. So face, face me, copy me like a mirror, bring your, your knee up, elbow on your, your knee, hold your hand in front of your face. Your knee that's down, let's the hand that's down. Let's do our technical get up. All right, very good. Other side, same idea. So it's bridge, shrimp, switch your legs. The bottom arm goes back, you're up on your elbow. And see how I've already attached my elbow to my knee. Good work. Kick up, up in your stance. Excellent. Other side, here we are. Bridge, shrimp, switch the leg, up, technical get up, very good, last time, bridge, shrimp, switch the legs, technical get up, all right, very good. So we're going to do one more solo drill, and then we're going to review some of our basics that you guys can practice at home with your, your friends and family, or uh, loved ones, I should say. From here, we're gonna to try to do a side roll. When you do a side roll, notice how my knees and toes are gonna to point up. I'm gonna tuck my elbow in. Uh, I think it was last week or the week before, I was showing how to do a butterfly sweep on your own. I know uh, Professor Eric has shown how to do the butterfly sweep uh, earlier the last week. So now, this movement is gonna help you learn how to invert. So it's called a, a, a we're roll sideways. So watch, elbow tucks in. Take your elbow and you bring it right to your hip bone. As you bring your elbow in, you're gonna bring your head forward. Your head's gonna come out towards your toes. As your head comes forward and your arm goes under, we're gonna reach and go right upside down. My roll completely sideways. So notice, Sitting up, my head's gonna come forward. I tuck my elbow in. My other hand, I reach for the ground. Now we're gonna go right upside down. So here I should be able to grab my toes. From there, I keep falling sideways. I sit back up. So if you're doing it at home, we're gonna keep facing the same direction the whole time. And our feet, the bottoms of our feet will face the same direction. Whole time. 
So again, my head comes forward. Bring your head towards your toes. Tuck your arm in and then reach. Now this is where it gets tough. I use my toes to push off the ground. I look up at the ceiling and there I am, upside down. Grab your toes and now try to come out of it looking in the same direction. So don't lose that forward focus. I'll back up a little bit just to make sure you guys see the shot as best as possible. Tuck the arm in, I reach, I'm up on my toes. Grab your toes, roll out of the position. Again, here, you should be able to see the bottoms of my feet. I'm gonna tuck my head forward, roll up on my toes, back. Again, here we go. More, as much as possible, like a ball. So here, upside down, grab your toes and stretch it out. You can even bring your hands behind you. And stretch up on your toes, stretch your hands behind your back. Big breath. Here I release, and I want to sit up. So that's your sideways roll. If you're able to do it, take a video, post it online. I want to see if you're able to do the sideways roll just like myself. If you had a hard time, let me know, and we can do it again. And I can show you guys uh, other ways to practice this skill. If you want to see from the side, it looks like this here. There's my side profile. My arm goes under, I roll right upside down, back, and I'll roll right back to you guys. Roll, over, toes touch the ground, here we are. So that's something you guys can practice at home on your own and, and develop that skill to, uh, to invert. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, we're gonna build on some basics uh, that we can practice. I wanna show you guys a, a, one of my favorite series. We're gonna review our side control escape, but then we're gonna look at how to do a basic takedown. So I wanna cover uh, some really, really solid stuff. So Coach Joe's gonna start side control on me. Here we are, chest to chest. Now, one arm goes under the throat. My hand finds the shoulder, my elbow finds the opposite shoulder. My other arm goes right underneath and my elbow presses on Coach Joe's belly button. So if Coach Joe were to stand up or get off, you'll see how my arms uh, go across my chest, and the, here I kind of use my elbows as wedges. Don't press with your hands. You're going to actually lift with your elbows. So watch, my hips and elbows go up, but it's not enough. I want to go up and over to the side. I want to push my partner away from me but there's too much weight on top. So we're gonna draw almost like an arch, kind of like a circle. I'm gonna guide Coach Joe's head uh, on, a, on a bit of an axis here, on a, on a kind of a circular motion. The head's gonna start to go up, over to the side. Now from there, we can hip escape. Notice I try to put my knee underneath to try to push Coach Joe away so that I can escape to guard. Sometimes what going to guard is tough. So my hand goes to where my knee is currently. My arm goes under, I kick my leg back, and now I can come up and we can wrestle. And we can knock our partner down. One more time. So same position. So we're gonna start side control with our partners. Bridge up and over your shoulder. From there, I wedge my knee. So I'm trying to use my leg and my arms to make space so I can go maybe to the guard position. But if I'm having a hard time, we're gonna fall under and I'm gonna push up on my hand. As I push up, my head goes up high. My hand that's grabbing the leg is gonna pull and lift. As I pull the leg and lift the leg, I drive off my toes and I'm gonna knock my partner down. All right, let's practice with me, guys. If you haven't switched, you guys go ahead and switch. Okay, I want everyone to get their turn. So notice, arms are on the chest here. It's the elbows that lift, not the hands. 
There's too much weight on the hands and wrists. The elbows will lift as the hips bridge up, okay? So from here, watch Coach Joe will bridge, hold the bridge. She wedges her knee in. What I might do is actually, I might block the legs. So her hand goes under my armpit, legs go backwards. Notice how she's flat to her stomach. This hand is gonna push her head right up. Notice how the head comes up high. So for me to push the head down now, very hard. If both hands connect, go ahead to connect your hands. Now I'm gonna attack the neck, I'm gonna defend. But when Coach Joe pushes her head up, notice the hand drives her head up to my chin. Now she's gonna push off her toes. Now she's pushing off her toes, she's gonna start to lift and pull my leg, and now she can sit my hip down. And there, she's on top of me. And then you guys can go back and forth. So we'll switch sides, and we'll jump here. So keep going back and forth. Start in side control, bridge, shrimp. Head goes under, flat to my stomach, I push up on my hand. Head looks up. I start to lift Coach Joe's leg. As I push off my toes, from here I'm gonna run in a circle. I'm looking to finish in side control. And then Coach Joe can do the same to me. Show bridge, shrimp. Arm goes under my armpit. She's flat to her stomach. Now she's gonna do a push up on her hand. Head comes up high, lifting my leg, driving, knocking me down into side control. So from here, Bridge, shrimp, go under, push up, and high, look up, and lift, drop. We're looking for a side control. Make sure you're going back and forth. One partner, try it, and the other. Start in side control, finish to your belly, and from your belly, you lift your partner's leg and knock them down. So if you're following along with us, keep training, keep practicing if you got it. If you don't, just take a look. So frame, you're going to do a big bridge, shrimp, arm goes under the armpit, flat to your stomach, you do a push up, head looks up, now lift your partner's leg, and then you can drive and sit them down. Now Coach Show can look to establish the side control position on me. Now I, I got to get out of the block, all right? One more time from here. Bridge, shrimp, underneath, up, drive, knock your partner down. Back and forth, one more time. So, you bridge, shrimp, arm goes under that armpit, Flat to our stomach, head comes up high, looking up, driving off the toes, knock our partner down, side control. Keep practicing, going back and forth. Now, moving along, let's review uh, some basic submissions we can be practicing at home. I know a lot of people uh, have built some contraptions that they can work with, working with their gi. So why don't we work an attack we can do with, uh, with the gi that we have at home that we're practicing on. From here, let's review our cross choke from the closed guard. When I do the cross choke, I'm gonna look to first open the lapel and feed it to my hand. My second arm is gonna go underneath. As I go under, I use my Form to lift my partner's chin. Okay, just turn a little bit. So here, notice my elbow rises, lifting the chin. That's gonna make space for my second hand to go inside. Now from here, my hand's not that deep. So I rotate to get a deeper grip. Now I cinch the choke. Elbows come to my hips, and I do a sit-up or a crunch. In the opposite direction, watch. Open the lapel, feed the hand inside, but go past your partner's ear. My thumb is past my partner's ear. So if we rotate, you'll see where the ear is. My hand's going past the 
the ear, or I should say my thumb. And from the other side, notice I lift the chin, I rotate my upper body to get a deeper grip. Now I turn back, I'm square, curling my fingers or pinkies up. So I grip, curl pinkies up, and then elbows in the hips. So one, two, and three. What you guys can work on is developing the grip strength. Now from here, again, I curl, squeeze, and you guys can practice holding the choke, especially if you're not practicing with anybody, a human being. Obviously, if you're practicing with a human being, you know, let go whenever uh, they're not comfortable or tap. But if you're practicing uh, just with, uh, you meet your own uh, uh, training partner at a E, you guys can work your grip strength. So again, I'm one, two, three. Switch if you have it, guys, other partners turn. Make sure you guys are going back and forth. So again, you open the lapel, feed the grip, second hand slides under, get a bit of a rotation so the grip goes deeper. Ideally, we're getting the thumb past the ear. Then we roll on the choke, elbows to the hips, we have a tight choke. Keep practicing. Let's go back and forth. Left side, right side. Develop your cross choke. Want guys keep just switching on your own, going back and forth. We can rep our basic cross choke E. So here, one, two, three. Now, if you want to add in uh, the, the transition that we were looking at. Now, we're going to add in the cross choke from our side control scheme. So our partner is side control on us. And from here, we bridge, shrimp. Now, this time, I bring both knees inside, push my partner away. And now, we can look to hunt for the choke in the guard. The other side, work our basic escape. Bridge, shrimp. We'll look to go to the guard. Then from the guard position, we can practice applying our choke. One more time. Side control escape, bring the knees inside. I achieve the guard. Now from there, I can open the lapel onto the choke. Once more. Bridge, shrimp, both knees inside. And adjust one, two, three. Bridge, 
bridge, shrimp, or guard, or work the basic choke. Bridge, shrimp, Alright guys, so that's going to be our basic class for tonight. Join us in a few minutes, we'll be doing a continuation of the advanced lesson with the deep half guard. Right now, if you guys have the time or the training partners, I want you guys to work the basic escapes. Work your side control escape, work the mount escape, and work on guard passing. Get a couple more, uh, minutes in for every position, maybe two minutes to three minutes each, and then we'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, be safe.